Soldiers of Reddit who have faced child soldiers in combat, what has been your, or your comrades, experiences? Any unique challenges you or others have faced? Mystery of Stuff Not a soldier, but my stepdad was a paratrooper in the Special Forces. It took me several years to get him to tell me anything about the combat he had seen during the Gulf War. His first kill was a child around the age of eight. Stepdad was in the back of a convoy holding rear position. They stopped for some reason, I never asked, and the child came running at them from behind. He was naked except a thick vest and had a grenade in his hand. Stepdad told him to stop over 10 times. The boy's father was watching from a nearby building. Still messes him up and he goes to therapy three times a week. War is hell. There was a kid sitting on an overpass in Iraq, dropping Molotov cocktails, trying to make it into the gunner's hatch of all the wraps in our convoy. 0 .50 cal gunner saw him and cut him in half, he was probably 10 years old or so. My buddy said that kids would often run up to the convoy trucks in Iraq and some of the guys would give them candy, even though they weren't supposed to. On one such occasion, a kid tossed two live grenades into the truck. One of the grenades was quickly tossed away to explode without issue, the other was not as easy to get rid of and ended up amongst the group of kids. The guys giving out candy were put on cleanup duty. No idea what the approximate age of the children was and not many other details. It was pretty rare to get him drunk enough and in a mood to talk about any of it. Fuck. Most horrifying thing in the thread. Most horrifying thing in any thread I can remember reading recently to be honest. I can only imagine what psychological impact that would have had on the dudes who were trying to be nice by handing out the candy in the first place. Then don't read up about human bombers. The days of the jihadi being a squicide bomber are pretty much gone. They kidnap people or buy children and force them to do it. They blindfold the victims, tie their hands together, and make them run at the target before remotely detonating. Even with the martyr that wanted to die for the cause or whatever, the detonators were remotely controlled because it improved the attack, but also because people chicken out. My ex was British Royal Marines and fought child soldiers. This was 10 plus years before I met him, but he had horrible nightmares and on a couple of occasions broke down crying while drunk. He never told me everything in a coherent, start-to-finish way, but from what I've pieced together he killed one, or more, child soldiers protecting his unit. It catapulted him into self-loathing, he got awarded a medal for it, refused to accept it, but was forced to attend the ceremony with members of the royal family. Only got through it by drinking himself into a stupor, and then spent the next four to five years with a serious coke habit before being able to transition into more moderate alcoholism. So yeah. My best friend in the world, known him since kindergarten. He always dreamed of serving, being Captain America, you know? Went to the US Air Force Academy after high school. Got a history degree and dreamed of a 20-year career in the military and teaching high school history after that. After a couple of years in the Air Force as an officer he transitioned into the Army. Went through SF training and passed. Served all over the Middle East, Africa, South America, etc. Never told any stories. He transitioned out a few years ago as an Army Special Forces captain. Within a year he took his own life, while his wife and almost newborn baby were downstairs in his house. I will never know the situations he faced, but obviously it's enough that the strongest man I've known couldn't. Considering some of the shit in this thread I'll try to keep mine a little more light-hearted. Kids used to throw rocks at our maps as we were driving through a village. They'd always aim for the gunner and even hit him a couple of times. Eventually he started carrying a wrist rocket slingshot and a bag of Jolly Ranchers. On one particular occasion some kid came pretty close with a rock so he loaded up his slingshot and drilled him right between the eyes with a Jolly Rancher. The other children saw it on the ground and dog piled to try and get the candy. Still one of the funniest things I've heard. Didn't actually pull the trigger on the kid but was ready to. 
Convoy through a village and the kid reaches into a pocket and pulls out what looks like a grenade and tries to throw it. I hesitated. The grenade slipped out of his hand behind him. It was damn rock. I was ready to kill a kid over a fucking rock. If it was a grenade and he managed to throw it, my hesitation could have meant my buddy's lives. I'm glad it was rock. I can't speak for others and thankfully I never had to pull the trigger, but I always gave them a lot more time in the crosshairs, versus an adult, there were several times they ran up unexpectedly, waved a gun in our direction, or just generally acted like they were going to attack us. I'd put them in my sights and beg god, please don't make me do this. Thankfully, every time, they'd stop what they were doing. If it were an adult aiming a weapon at us, they'd get zero thought. I remember the ones I didn't pull the trigger on so much more than the ones that I did. I'm sure a lot of soldiers would disagree with me, but I sleep just fine at night. When I was in Iraq a man was carrying who I believed to be his daughter on his shoulders when it became quickly apparent he had on a suicide vest. He didn't think we'd shoot. I don't think anyone aimed for the girl. Why would they? Didn't stop him from detonating. With the exception of his torso, he all but evaporated. The little girl shot straight up in the air, the lower half completely gone. Not my favorite memory. War sucks. My guess is she was 4 to 5. Mystery of Stuff